Facebook group today, or maybe you are already chiming in on the Ceasefire text line, then you are going in your way back machine and you're thinking about your 16 year old self and how that version of you would be flabbergasted by how life has turned out for you in the good ways always. Because again, at 16, your mind obviously sometimes has an idea of what your future is going to be. And if you have a 16 year old in your home, this is a great sort of just question to ask uh, when you meet up with them at the end of the day today. Like, where do you see yourself in 20 years? And just see what comes out of their mouth uh, because it's probably not, oh, steady job with two kids and a dog paying a, you know, a good getting excited about you know low interest rates and a better mortgage like none of that none of that sort of feels exciting or seems like that's where you're going to take the world by the tail at 16 <laughs> let's be fair that's never really exciting <laughs> hey low interest rates if you were, if you were able to refinance your home probably was very exciting your 16 year old self may not see that for what it is but your 38 48 year old self gets really tickled pink if you can shave off some years on your on your mortgage but that's beside the fact so in someone says at 16 I would have never thought that I would be retired at 45 Alan says so I'm curious Alan what what a career path did you choose to get retirement at 45 because on the good things Facebook group someone else mentioned being retired I think it was it was close to 50 it was nowhere near sort of the 65 and because at 16 I mean you're sort of just embedded that you work till you're 65 and then you realize you're probably gonna work past 65 and so there are some that do life right and figure out a career path or good money management and you can essentially retire long before you ever thought it physically you know possible and that is definitely a good switch in which your life may have taken someone says all I knew all I knew was that I'd marry at 16 my girlfriend not at 16 at 16 all I knew is I would marry my girlfriend at the time and now we've been married for three years and together for 10 I'm, I'm so happy that that worked out for you, but I'm going to go ahead and say that most of us listening to good things, thanks God we didn't marry who we were dating at 16. I mean, it doesn't, it's, <laughs> it's not a happy ending or it would have not been the same fairy tale for many of us if we would have stuck with that particular relationship at 16. For those of you who had good, good luck with your high school sweetheart, Kudos to you. That's awesome. I think Garth Brooks has a song about this. <laughs> but there's a lot of us who are <laughs> with with and it would pro and it probably went both ways, right? I mean, it's not let's just, you know, you are I hope you're a completely different human being in maturity level and everything else than your 16-year-old self. So there you go with that one. But hey, if it works for you, it worked for you. 25 years with the state of Mississippi, Alan said, so you got to retire at 45. Wade in Jackson says, I retired after 25 years with the state, so maybe he was a state employee. Wade in Jackson, I also know if you get into the military and work your way through it, at the age of 18, you too can retire or have the option of retiring. But I guess that also would be a federal sort of state um, situation. Stan and Ripley said, at 16, I never thought I would be teaching high school baseball and football as an assistant coach at Faulkner High School. I think many of us also don't, at 16, didn't have our career, our love life and our career path are probably two paths that drastically look different than what we imagined it at 16. That's fair. Dramatically different. <laughs> For so many different reasons. For so many different individuals. I mean, even at 18, when you go into college or higher education, you may have one route for what your, you know, your um, profession's going to be. Yeah. <clears throat> and unless you go in for something very specific, like to be a doctor, to be a dentist, to be a pre -law, nurse. Pre-law. Usually with pre at the front of it. Right. Then you, you typically end up doing that because you have a very specific set of skills and now – you know, to, to do a job. But if you just go in for business administration, you have no clue 
where that's going to take you at the, at the end of 20 years. I feel a little attacked. Is that what you have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, dietitian But I started here. in pre-law. That's another thing. I thought I was going to be a lawyer, wanted to be a lawyer, started college, freshman year. I was going to do the pre-law three and three, where you get undergrad done in three years and then do three years of law school. And after one semester, I was like, this... Oh. Is not for me. So we have that in common. We were, we thought we were both going to be lawyers. So, but me, number one, you would have made a heck of a lawyer. I would have totally hired you as a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, you would have had that just good presence in a in a law room, right? I mean, you'd had to kept the beard and the scruffiness, but a good suit and a good briefcase. Yes, you would have won all the cases. But um, I wanted Ally McBeal. I don't know what age I was. I was a preteen, round sixteen. And she, she insp- or that show inspired me to want to be a lawyer until I realized how much paperwork that's in the law profession. And I decided real quick, like, that that wasn't going to be necessarily the yeah, route that I was going to when you're overworked take. to the point you start seeing a computer-generated dancing baby. I'm not sure where, the, yes. Oh, that was on Alley the dancing baby. Bailey. Yeah. That's like, wait, where is he going with that? On the text line, someone mentioned at 16, I didn't see that if you would have told me I would be faithfully going to church, I would have called you crazy. I think that's fair, too. So we can add in love life, career life, and then spiritual life. Probably all look completely different in your now in reality than you would have thought at the age of 16. Someone also mentioned at 16, I was trying to get my hair to look like Fair Fawcett. It does, does that tell you how old I am? Well, That's another thing is d- thinking back to when you're 16 makes, means something completely different depending on mm-hmm. when you were 16. Absolutely. For sure it was. Well, I would say at 16, I would swear that I would never wore um, sweater sets ever. I have a closet full of them now. They match. I can rearrange them. A cardigan is everything. At 16, you would not – you could have – paid me good money and I would have never worn a windsuit but if I could find one now (laughs) I would totally rock a windbreaker I mean you're talking about the girl that had Doc Martens at the age of 16 that's all I wanted for for Christmas which I would my might would still wear those now but if you would have told me I actually had you know shoes with heels and toes and you know all the things and that I would care what my feet look like in the summer that would have been completely oblivious um, to me. It's so interesting just to to stop for a minute, you know, and go back to your 16-year-old mindset. And again, if you've got a 16-year-old that lives in your house, what a fun experiment to do with them today. Just sort of ask them, where do you see yourself in 20 years? And just see what comes out of their mouth. I mean, be be, be gentle with whatever comes out, because the, the chances are you had some of the same unrealistic expectations for life, too. And then you get out into the actual real world and your, you know, motives change, your priorities change, a lot of different things. Your tax bracket change. Oh, you get a tax bracket. (laughs) You move out in that paycheck that was going to a whole bunch of extraneous spending on nonsense is all of us. Where did did it it go? go? There was so much more last time. Mike in Gulfport, I retired at 60 and then back to work at 61, retired excuse me, again, at 70 and back at work at 71. Life is not sitting around but feeling value and sharing your experience with others. Absolutely. It's one thing to be able to retire. It's one thing to have to work versus wanting to work. I think those are two distincts. I think for some people, actually doing something and sharing a skill or a trade or just having a purpose means everything more than the paycheck. But man, it'd be nice to get up every day and go do that thing and know that you didn't have to have the paycheck. I think that's two different mindsets. Mike continues on the ceasefire text line, Mike in Gulfport. <clears throat> God's given me an opportunity to show that success is what you can do for others, not mm-hmm. how big your house is. For sure. Absolutely. And then um, Jim and Ripley said some of us are still trying to, to forget, forget being, being 16. 16. We're just thankful that we survived. Dude, I'll give you a amen for that one.